wanted to share the response that I'm a queen has been receiving in regards to our event. What's happening to our black girls It's taking place this Saturday, February 29th from 12 to 2 at the Power Play Center. And we've had these human trafficking organizations reach out to us. Mostly, um, these are predominantly white organizations that fight to end human trafficking. And the one thing that's pretty interesting is that black women and black girls are the main priority for human trafficking, right? And when you look at the black community and you look at, okay, who's hosting these community forums? Who's educating the black community about human trafficking? And it's really not us. Like, it's really not us. It is these organizations out there that don't look like us. And they're trying to knock down the door to see how they can get in front of uh, people of color. So what was going on? It was, it was like in the month of November. It was a lot of stuff happening in the media. It was a lot of things happening on social media that was like, so many amber alerts on black girls missing it was so heavy that i remember walking in the parking lot and i was like i don't know what we need to do but we need to do something and i just heard god say what's happening to our black girls and i was like what and it was a it was it was so clear what's happening to our black girls Are we talking about our black girls going missing? Are we talking about black girls going missing to the point that the media is not covering it? Are we talking about it? And the black community is not talking about it. I mean, we share it. We get upset. But are we really educating our kids about what's going on in this state? Because North Carolina is in the top 10 states. For human trafficking. Real talk. And the reason being is because North Carolina has so many accesses. Well, access on the highways. Highway I-40. You got 95. You got I-85. So there's so much access for people to get to these girls. And here's the thing. This girl, she talks to me because I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm an expert. I am actually learning in the process of this So one of the girls who's speaking on our panel, she said this to me. She said, it's not about people snatching our teenage girls. It's really about the relationships that they're having with these men. To the point that your daughter, your cousin, your niece, whoever, your friends, friend of a friend, she could be in a relationship with somebody that she trusts that she is rocking with or she, you know, she's in a relationship with somebody. And she could be trusting this person and she could be thinking that, hey, everything is going okay. However, this person can persuade, can manipulate her into doing things that she doesn't know exactly what she's doing. Some of the people who are in human trafficking, they don't even know that they're being trafficked because they're still going home. They're still going to school they're still doing they're still doing things that's normal to them but they're just a part of this lifestyle so what's going on is we in the media we get this fear tactic of thinking oh my god people are snatching these women left and right and our kids left and right yeah people are getting snatched i get that we we see the amber alerts however We also have to talk to our children about the relationships that they're having because you got 10-year-olds and 11-year-olds in relationships and grown-up relationships, and they're doing grown-up things. So you got to have these conversations. And I know in I'm a queen, we're very very, uh, good for having very important conversations, very blunt conversations. We are very, we are known for having blunt conversations with people because at the end of the day, I'm trying to save your life. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to get you the tools that you need. So when you look at human trafficking, you got to look at the facts. You got to look at the relationships that the girls are having. And you got to look at why is it that these people are disappearing, but there's not a lot of media attention. So what's happening next Saturday? Well, this Saturday, this Saturday, February 29th from 12 to 2 at the Power Play Center. It's located at 2207 
East Cone Boulevard. It is free. You show up. You show up for your sister. You show up for your child. You show up for your niece. You show up for the girl next door. Show up. Show up and get this information so that you can help somebody. Because we got um, Captain Stephanie Martis from the Greensboro Police Department. We got known the best. She is the only director of the North Carolina Center for Missing Persons. Which means she is the only person in the state of North Carolina who activates. She activates all um, Amber Alerts. And when she goes home, the State Highway Patrol does her job. Okay? We got Bria Miller coming from Crossroads. She's working with human trafficking uh, survivors. She advocates for them. She's trying to make sure that they have the resources. She's actually understanding what is going on in our community, okay? We got Stephen Matthews with Punch for Pound Kids. He's going to be talking about self-defense, how to protect yourself, what to do. Because here's at the end of the like, I live by myself. I don't know what I would do if somebody came up on me. God forbid. And God forbid for you if something happened to you. But he is there to teach us and talk to us about self-defense. And talk to us to help us to understand what we need to do, okay? Then we got Tracy Zima. She is a registered nurse. This lady, she got credentials after credentials, okay? But she works for Cone Health. And she works in the forensic nursing division. And she deals with sex trafficking, sexual assault abuse. And this woman, she can understand, she's going to be able to talk to us from the health perspective of what's going on when these women come to the hospital or when these girls are coming to the hospital. So this is a real topic. I need y'all to be in place. I need y'all to show up. If you're in the area on Saturday, come through from 12 to 2, February 29th. I need you to do this. And then this is how I need you to support. Like I just said, show up. Number two, tell somebody. Tell somebody that needs this information. If you got a co-worker and she got a daughter, I don't care if a child 5 to 25 years old, tell her to come through. You can say, Alana, I went to your website and there's no more tickets. I can guarantee you somebody's not going to show up to this event. Have your butt in the seat. If you got to stand just to hear this information, okay? Hear the information that's going out. Show up to the event and get the information that you need. But share this information with people who need it. Because we need to hear about this stuff happening in the black community. The black community needs this. And the funny part is today, I was actually walking outside. <laughs> oh my God, this is so funny. I was walking outside. Mind my own business, y'all. Y'all know me. I'm just, whatever. Walking outside. And this lady is screaming my name. And she's like, Alana Allen, I need to talk to you about human trafficking because you're doing an event for black girls. And I'm sitting there like, yeah, I am. And she's talking to me and she's like, look, black people are not talking about human trafficking. And you're a black organization and you're talking about human trafficking. And I like, I told her, I said, yeah, we attract black women. We attract black kids. So, if I have this platform, that's why I'm there to do it. Like, I'm there to do it, okay? And here's another thing. This thing is personal. I have a 15-year-old niece. She's 15. She gets off the bus. When she gets off the bus, I'm praying to God that she's paying attention to her surroundings. I'm praying to God she doesn't have her headphones on. I'm like, every day, I'm like, oh, my God, I need her to make it in that house. You know what I'm saying? We have a motion detected camera. You know, we're trying to make sure that she's good to go. But here's the thing, though. This is personal to me because I'm doing this event for my 15-year-old niece. Yeah, I work with children 10 through 18, but this is so personal for me as an individual that I'm just like, I'm doing it so that my niece can have the resources. I'm doing it so that I have the resources. I'm doing it so the people around me have the resources. Okay? So show up. Support I'm a queen. Support us. Show up. Tell somebody. The, the event is free. I promise you. Tell somebody. And if you want to see more conversations, if you want to see more conversations about black women, black girls, if you want to talk about different topics, support this organization by going to imaqueen.org and click on donate. 
click on donate so that we're able to pay for more community forums that benefit the black community and especially the black woman. Because if you empower a black woman, you're empowering the economy, you're helping the family dynamic, you're helping the household, you're helping, you're helping to get black women and black children out of poverty. So support this organization by donating whatever you can to support this community forum so that we're able to have more conversations about human trafficking. We're, more, we're able to have more conversations about self-esteem and loving our skin and loving our hair and loving who we are and how to protect ourselves and helping black women to get over the wall of whatever's holding them back, whatever mountain they're facing. Help us to be able to help our black children. So, I know I just gave a lot of information, but what I'm trying to do is help empower people to know about human trafficking. So, please show up on Saturday, February 29th from 12 to 2 at the Power Play Center in Greensboro, North Carolina. There's more details at imaqueen.org. We have a phenomenal panel who is willing to educate you and elevate you so that you can know. I'm praying to God they elevate my mind. That they elevate me as an individual because I'm humble enough to know that I am not no expert in this. But I want to make sure that none of my kids or any kids in this community doesn't that goes without this information. So, show up, tell a friend, donate, and I'm a queen out or to support more conversations and more community forums about black girls. Our black girls matter. I really support you. I really thank you for your support. And I will talk to you later. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, please post them below. And be prepared to ask questions at this community forum. Because this is what this is what these people are showing up for. They're showing up to answer your questions. Okay? So thank you so much. And I hope you have a great evening.